The role of surgery in locally advanced disease really depends on which organ we're talking about and what we mean by locally advanced. Uh, if we're talking about pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, there are some cases where you have invasion of the SMA, SMV, portal vein, uh, where the tumor is initially unresectable but uh, can potentially be shrunk with new adjuvant treatment, either chemotherapy by itself, a combination of chemotherapy and radiation, maybe even peptide receptor radiotherapy. So there are effective ways of shrinking pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors that can eventually lead to surgery. Uh, with small bowel neuroendocrine tumors, we often see presence of multiple lymph nodes, often lymph nodes extending to the root of the mesentery. That's still technically locally advanced. It really depends on whether those mesenteric lymph nodes are involving major vessels when deciding whether the disease is uh, surgically resectable or not. Even if not all the disease is resectable, sometimes you can remove most of the disease and maybe even try to dissect tumors off the major vessels, although it can get quite complicated. Uh, the problem is that there aren't any really effective neoadjuvant treatments for that scenario. Mesenteric masses are often highly chemoresistant. Uh, there's a lot of fibrotic tissue in addition to the cancer cells, so they don't tend to shrink with uh, somatostatin analogs, chemotherapy, radiation, et cetera. And so there are, there are cases where uh, surgery is quite difficult. The role of surgery in the metastatic disease is actually very um, present, and I don't think anyone should disregard you, um, having a cytoreductive surgery in metastatic disease for many reasons. So for instance, if someone has a lot of uh, disease in the liver, there, there are data that shows that doing the bulking surgery, perhaps the bulking up to 80 or 90% of the tumors might be beneficial for the patients, might help with symptom controls, and they have a lot of carcinoid syndrome symptoms. Um, there is also the role of resecting mesenteric masses in the setting of metastatic disease because with time, the mesenteric masses can continue to grow and can cause a lot of local problems that will lead to um, potentially even um, uh, death. So in these situations, um, in situations like that, I think considering surgery is very important, even in the metastatic setting. Surgery has always been a very important part of the care for our patients with neuroendocrine tumors. If patients have localized uh, tumor, we hope the surgery will cure the problem. In that setting, the newer uh, approval of gallium-68 dotatate receptor imaging may help us locate small volume metastatic disease we didn't otherwise know about, and this certainly may affect the curative potential of surgery, though it may or may not uh, affect whether it's still a good idea in an individual patient. The reason I say this is we often use surgery as a palliative modality for patients with neuroendocrine tumors. Many times resection of their primary and regional disease, as well as the vast majority of their metastatic disease, may improve symptoms and quality of life, as well as a lot of historical evidence to suggest that it will prolong survival as well. In that situation, novel imaging that detects small volume metastatic disease we didn't otherwise know about from our traditional cross-sectional imaging may or may not impact uh, the appropriateness of surgical intervention in those patients since we know the goal is prolonged palliation and increasing quality of life and length of life. Surgical techniques have been refined such that laparoscopic surgery is more of an option for many of our patients, even with complex or large pancreatic operations or large liver resections. So that certainly speeds recovery and in expert hands can be a very good option for some patients. A very important small subset of our patients have significant carcinoid heart disease, which can be function-threatening and ultimately life-threatening. And there are select centers that have developed uh, surgical expertise in valve replacement and repair for patients with carcinoid heart disease, and that uh, greatly improves both their quality of life and survival uh, in the correct hands uh, in this very high-risk operation.